Hi DIYers, this is Frank at Alarm Grid. We're back in the Alarm Grid lab working with the Honeywell LKP500 auxiliary keypad. This is the uh, keypad that goes with our state-of-the-art Lyric controller and uh, it does have a nice little display here. This is for entry points or other uh, areas of your home or business where you want to be able to arm, disarm, issue panics and whatnot. Uh, so we're going to show you how to go into the advanced level programming uh, we'll hit the number three here, and then you'll use the scroll. You'll see just beneath the zero, you can actually scroll through the three settings. So we have firmware, we have the default keypad. If you wanted to de completely default this and pull it off of um, a, a six series network uh, and pull it off your, your Lyric after it's paired, and then there's a reset. Uh, the reset is simply basically just a reboot for the keypad if you needed to reboot it for some reason. Um, so the firmware, we can, once you're on that, you can hit select, which is the one key, and you can scroll through the different firmware revisions for uh, the keypad itself, uh, the, the panel, the bootloader, the RF6 receiver, uh, and then the MAC address for this specific keypad. The MAC may be handy if you have multiple keypads and you didn't name them, uh, so you can figure out which one's which and then name them on the, on the Lyric controller in zone programming uh, or under the keypad programming. So uh, after non-use, it'll, it'll back out like that. So to get back in, you just press and hold the three. We can scroll down and we'll, this time we'll go to default keypad. Uh, we can press the one to select. And once you're in here, different than the other sections where you would scroll, you basically, if you want to default it, you hit the delete button, which is just under stay. If you want to cancel out, you can hit cancel. Uh, in this case, we will default. Uh, well, we'll wait to default so I can show you the other settings first. Uh, so I'll do a press and hold on three because it just timed out there and we'll scroll right past the default keypad to reset keypad um, and we can hit select and then we would hit select again, say standby, wait for reset. So now ba basically the LKP500 will reset power to it. Uh, there's a backup battery installed so this allows you to reset your LKP500 without having to worry about disconnecting your transformer. Uh, in most cases that transformer may be plugged into a wall outlet where the uh, there's a screw holding it in. So rather than having to deal with unscrewing that and opening this up and disconnecting the battery, you can do a, a reset there just to uh, you know refresh the keypad if it's giving you any issues. That's the first thing you want to do um, when having any problems with your keypad uh, when in doubt re reboot. So now that it's reset, you have uh, it's still paired here. You can see it's disarm ready to arm. You can even test uh, if you hit away and then enter a valid code. You can arm the system just to ensure that it still is paired. And then you can do a disarm by hitting the security down here in the bottom, on the bottom right, and then enter a code. Now you're active. Um, so that is how you would view firmware, uh, default your keypad, in order, like basically removing it from your Lyra controller, and if you wanted to enroll in a different system, uh, and then this is also how you would reset it and reset power. So, if you have any other questions on advanced programming on the LKP500, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.